Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's LJ and I'm here to reshoot a video. I got a package in the mail just a couple of days ago from another vinyl community member, Pudsy. Um, Pudsy Aid, just uh, over in the UK. Fantastic member of the vinyl community. He's just put out some great material lately. Some great blooper shots and always picking up some killer singles and, and metal finds. I, I always enjoy watching Pudsy's videos. I can't wait for a new one to come out. I, I get on as quick as I can. And, and like most, unfortunately not quite as quick as I'd like to with everything going on. But Pudsy mentioned he was going to send something over to me and I've just been eagerly waiting for it. Um, something that might make a 7 inch single collector out of me. And Up until now, I'm just not. I usually stick to, to 12 inch. Um, and I just don't usually get into singles. I don't know if it's because I'm too lazy to flip them over or I don't know what it is. The artwork is awesome. Love the artwork. But I just never get into them. So Pudsy or Aid said, you know, hey, something's coming your way. It's going to make a, a seven inch collector out of you. I said, All right. So, you know, you went ahead and sent over a package, you know, from the UK. So thank you so much, you know, for sending that over. I, I just shipping alone. I mean, man, Abe, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And, and love that about the vinyl community. The giving and the sharing is just, it's so selfless. I sent the letter. Um, you know, LJ and wife, and her name is Renee, by the way. And, and I've read the letter. So what happened here is I wanted to do a live package opening, kind of a catch the element of surprise there. So I live in the Boston area, and I don't know, for those that are aware or know or have been keeping up, there was just a huge October nor'easter snowstorm that just slapped the shit out of the area yesterday. So I'm opening the package last night, the camera rolling, I'm like, what's in here? Can't wait to see. I hold the first single up and I'm like, wow! And the power cut out and it stayed out for like 15 hours. <laughs> so this is a reshoot um, about my only sanity check in the last 15 hours was to look at the stuff that he sent me. Um, beyond the generator running and all that great crap. So it's not a live opening, but I'm no less stunned. So let's see you know, what he thought to send was clearly trying to make a seven inch collector out of me. Sent over uh, a Genesis single, Misunderstanding. Um, B-side evidence of autumn. So this is just awesome. I love Genesis and I love that period of Genesis. It's not cover up uh, ACDC. Sent over Duchess, another killer single, just that great Duke artwork. I love it. And again, on the famous Charisma label, UK presses with a center spindle permanently in. Love it. And I think this is the one that he, he I he knows and, and many do. I've shown in so many threads that Pink Floyd's The Wall is just my favorite album, period. You know, no matter how many albums I love, this one's the favorite of, of all time. I've had this album with me, CD, cassette, even 8-track since middle school. So this is just stunning, and, and I know that this is something that he picked up specifically for me, and I couldn't possibly be more thankful. This is just awesome, and, and if this is, you know, aid, when I opened it and I saw, like, oh, a mini version of The Wall, it's like, this might be what, what flips the coin and gets me to get into collecting 7 inches because this is just awesome. And this is another Brick in the Wall Part 2 and one of my turns. So this is stunning and, and eight, all three of those will happily, happily, happily be displayed prominently in my collection. Those are really, I mean I have a few 7 inches, 45s running around, Death Leopard and stuff like that, but just nothing like that. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Aid sent over a few 12 inches as well, the Pretenders, the singles, and I did read the note, and it's funny, Aid, you mentioned you didn't know if I had this, and I don't, or if I was into the Pretenders, and funny thing is, in the past, I haven't been. I made a video a while back with some stuff that I said, let's trade, or whatever. There's a poster in here as well. And a couple were, I had found some, um, a couple of the first Pretenders records, and I was like, I, I gave them a quick cursory listen, and they just didn't sit. It's like, I hate them. I'm not getting into them. And, you know, it's it's funny. I've since respun them. I said the same thing about New Riders of the Purple Sage, by the way. And I've since respun them. And I'm so glad I was too lazy to sell them because now I love them. And so I did not have the singles. Oh my God, you're never going to be able to see that whole thing. But this is just a killer copy of the singles that Abe found and sent over. And it's just awesome. I love it. So thank you so much. I'm very happy to add that to my collection. A couple others are status or status quo, 
12 Gold Bars. I know for a fact this is one of uh, one of Aid's favorite bands, um, 70s metal bands, and I didn't have any status quo in my collection. It's just not common here. It's, it's not easy to come by. You don't see it all the time. I think they had a much bigger UK following, so I, I really can't wait to spin this. I just haven't yet. Between the power going out and wanting to reshoot this, I haven't even dropped the needle on it, but I can't wait to. So excited. It's my first status quo record, and to come from just one of their biggest fans is, and, and a friend and a member in the vinyl community it means so much. It's always going to hold a special place for me in my collection. Ah, another thing Aid seems to just absolutely excel at is finding metal compilations, and I'm always so jealous when I see them and watch them because they also just don't turn up often. Live and Heavy is one that he has mentioned is just simply one of the best ones going and best ones out there. Um, this is on the NEMS label. And it's got music from the likes of oh, Deep Purple, Nazareth, Motorhead, Def Leppard, Rainbow, and on and on. And I, I can, I'm so excited to just put this on and listen to it. And I remember having mixed vinyl in comps as a kid in the early 80s and late 70s. And now it's just so easy. They're mixed CDs, iPods, and playlists. But this is where it was at then. This was the only way you were going to hear all your favorite bands, especially when you just can't afford to buy those records on your own. So this is just awesome. You know, all, all six of them are awesome. And, you know, Abe, thank you so much. And truly an upstanding guy. Again, your videos are great. And I'm always looking forward to new ones. Such a, a cute little girl hopping in there with you all the time. And, and she's, got a, she's got a great trainer and daddy to, uh, to school her in, in, in music and what's good. So Abe, thank you so much. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, again, that's what's great about the vinyl community, the giving and the receiving, the selflessness, the thoughts, the comments, the feedback, the suggestions and the recommendations. I, I couldn't be happier every day that goes by to be a part of this, something so cool. So everyone, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope anyone that got wrapped up in the storm is keeping well. And I'll talk to everyone soon. I'm going to shoot another video, I think, right back to back to this with some uh, metal updates. Some stuff that I found recently. I'm looking at it, obviously, on, on the floor. So uh, stay tuned for that. Guys, talk to you soon. Take care.